Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So we are nearing the very end of the x -Not Fortress, as you can see. This is the final room before the boss. We have the keycard, now we just have to find a way up to actually reach where we need to put it. Because I'll be honest, it has been years since I've done this. Ouch. <laughs> so I don't exactly remember how to get up to the top, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Get down here. So I believe we can just go back to the paper airplane panel from last time where we flew to actually get the keycard. Just don't fly, instead wait for the platform to move downwards, and then we can use that to get to the top. There are tons of pipes over in this area, and I believe all of them are not are pipes you don't want to take. Simply because I think they just take you back to the main area and are like, oh, you fell off? Well, this is your punishment. Yeah! Oh, darn, darn it. Actually, I have to take this pipe. Now. I've also come to realize I need to be funnier in these videos, because looking back at the last video, I'm like... I wasn't really trying to be funny or entertaining. Nope. I just was kind of playing the game and occasionally talking my way through stuff. Which, hey, maybe people like that. But also, I know when I watch YouTube videos, I like to laugh. So maybe maybe I should get like even partial scripts going for at least non-blind playthroughs. That could be interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like the way I let's play now, or do you think I should plan in advance what I'm going to say a bit more? Yeah, uh -huh. It is hard to jump on those gears. You've got that keycard at the top. You've got this airplane panel. I'm not actually going to go on the airplane. Aha! Thank you, Coops. <laughs> We're gonna want Goombella, because new boss. I've been waiting for you! Oh man, have I been waiting! And I hate waiting! You again? You've been waiting, huh? Well, so what? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what it means. I use the crystal star to lure you here, so that I can take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And want to know the best part? Your little peachy girl isn't even here anymore. So Peach totally was here. So where did you take her, you huge weasel? Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> like I tell you the plan. That's novice villain style. Nah, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really, guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are gonna be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0! I hope you're up to the challenge, because this fiend is raw horsepower, kitties! So yeah, you remember Magnus Von Grapple. He's the boss that I completely, utterly humiliated. Well, unfortunately, we won't be doing that same thing this time. Buh, 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 huh. Yeah, last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. <laughs> oh, please. As if we're not totally going to whoop you for, like, the tenth time. <laughs> you tell him, Goombella. So, this boss fight actually is pretty difficult. Unless you've got some Defend Plus badges, in which case it's not nearly as bad. Alright, let's tattle on this guy. 
Ah! Magnus Von Grapple 2.0, the upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple. Max HP is 70, attack is 6, and defense is 2. Its basic attacks is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fists for flying X punches. Each X punch has a max HP of 5, an attack of 9, and a defense of 0. When those fists are flying, you may get attacked by its the fists and the body in one turn. Take care of those low HP fists early on, trust me. When the body's HP gets low, it also will fire machine guns and who knows what else. It may not look too different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I still think the whole design is a little ridiculous, though. I actually think it kind of looks cool. Here comes suckers! Magnus Drill Attack! So yeah, he he packs a wallop. And we're gonna use Vivian for this fight because burning him will gradually do damage, which is nice. And when he gets his X punches out, we are going to want oh, well, Goombella is dizzy, but if we swap to Vivian, she won't be. We want to use Fiery Jinx on the X Fists so that they don't damage us nine. <laughs> Time to unleash the sum of the sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Oh yep, there we go with the <laughs> X punches. I'm eating through FP, but it's okay. He's got a ton of HP, so we gotta get that sucker down. Oh no! Why did it have to be fog? Watch this miss the X punches. Missed one of them, hopefully that the other one will miss us. Of course it didn't. Oh, forgot about that. That's a boomerang attack. Actually, no, it's not a boomerang attack. Well, shoot. Alright, I want to get rid of that fog, so we're using Bobbery. Get the X punch out of there. He loves using this. And that packs quite a punch if you don't defend against it. Again? Are you serious right now? Oh wow, Bobbery actually hit him and cleared away the fog. That's impressive. And he gets his fists back. But thankfully, he's just using his drill attack again. That's actually not too bad. Okay, is it my imagination, or does using like things like Power Smash make Fog appear more uh, frequently? Because I've noticed Fog rarely actually appears unless I use it. <laughs> oh crud, you guys should be little puddles of nothing by now. Oh well, I've still got some tricks up my sleeve. This is the attack that is horrible if you don't have defend pluses. Buh, buh, buh. Eat this! Those normally damage like three apiece if you don't have the defend pluses. And Mario has two. And I'm incredibly low on HP right now, so I am going to finally show off Sweet Feast! Hold on. <laughs> so it's basically like Sweet Treat. Just more good stuff falls. And only two poison mushrooms, and yeah, look at that! Almost maxed out stats from that. It also eats up a ton of star power, but that's okay. <laughs> Magus 2.0 is the first boss that's actually giving me a little trouble. <laughs> oh, come on! That would have been the perfect time for that! <laughs> oh, well. Alright. I'm not gonna risk the fog this time. I'm using Fiery Jinx first! <laughs> Get out of here.
<sighs> no, how? What? My sweet powered up robot is on the ropes! This is wrong! I mean, I give you an A plus for the sheer variety of attacks you have, Magnus. Who dares? Of course, it's an X knot. <laughs> Well, even a power smash won't finish him off, so... Oh, okay. I'm like, if he's smart, he'll use his machine gun move. I could have sworn he could heal as well, but maybe not. Vivian, you do the job. Goodbye, Magnus. Blar! That is a healthy amount of star points, not quite enough for a level up. Brodus! And he's finally gone. <laughs> Lord Crump is finally gone. There it is! Mario! We got a crystal star, and we learned the special move, Supernova! Final crystal star is ours! End of chapter! The last crystal star had been hidden in the x Not hideout on the moon, but by the time Mario had recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven, seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? I do want to save my game progress up to this point. End of Mario's time. We just skipped straight to Bowser. No need to look in on Peach. Well, we're here! Now where's the stupid Poshly Sanctum? A crystal star is there, right? So they say you're putrid this, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you! Great! About time something worked out for old Bowser! In we go! <laughs> Alright, we get to talk to people. I say, I'd like to mount a large animal horn on my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you great fiend? What? That's disgusting! Get away from me, psycho! You can't have my horns! I, I, I applaud her for not showing no fear. For not showing no fear. For showing no fear. Eek! <laughs> it's okay, little lady. Oh, hello there, guy. Bushley Heights is nice on a warm afternoon, eh? What's that? You're a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah, you know, guy, I think maybe you got a little too much sun, eh? <laughs> He's totally on pace. That's amazing. Hey, pop up family, what's up? Oh, look! My heart trembles, the fountain. So elegant. This is art at its finest. So very observant as usual, my dear Gold Bob. Indeed, surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest, one cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art, art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it, yet how can one appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Whoa. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me, seriously. <laughs> hey, little bub. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? <laughs> Koopa Koot. <laughs> I am the great Koopa Koot, all-time ancient babbler. Uh, yeah, right. Mister, that name stinks. <laughs> How dare you. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Businessman of legend. <laughs> I am Bowser, businessman of legend. Fear my accounting. Oh, a businessman? Like... Business trips, bribes, and brown noses, oh my! 
Wow, tough life, huh? So, mister, are you in charge of the coffee maker or what? Wow, ouch. You're big, mister. What's your name? Evil King Extraordinaire. <laughs> I am Bowser. Bowser, Evil King Extraordinaire. Ye yeek! <laughs> oh, poor little bub. All right, let's let's get in here. It's locked. It won't budge. Darn it! The lock broke. Oh, baby! Awesome! It opened! Talk about lucky! I guess rage really pays! <laughs> wow, Bowser can fit in the door. Barely, but he still can. <laughs> oh, the tapestries and curtains. It's lovely. Yes! This is it, Haggy! This is finally it! <laughs> At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star! Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best star-getting guy. <laughs> you there. Have you now, villains? You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... <laughs> Remorse is king of evil. The shadow of evil. Koopa Koot. I am the great Koopa Koot! I'm taking this! Mess with me, and I'll bore you to death! I see. Unfortunately for you, that's a red herring. Yes, yeah, a fake. If you want it, it's yours. W what A fake?! Again?! <laughs> but look at this fancy display! The pedestal and everything! It's so posh! If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi! Oh ho 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 ho! You have got to be kidding me! You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ah, those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time! Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? <laughs> Lord Bowser! <laughs> ah, Paragoomba! What are you so worked up over, hmm? Tell me! Now reporting, sir! Uh, and ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the several Christmas stars and is headed for the Thousand Year Door! Huh, what?! The Thousand Year Door?! What the heck is that?! <laughs> The fountain near door, an unbelievably legendary treasure, is hiding behind that door. Yar! Then I'm going there too! Immediately! And I'm gonna ruin Mario! Looks like Bowser's finally caught up. <laughs> Will you now? Luigi, well done, lad. Way to not fail. Yet. I love how him mistaking me for Luigi finally led up to that. <laughs> that was amazing. Unfortunately, that's also the last Bowser part of the game. We finally got all seven crystal stars! Yes! Now we can open the Thousand Year Door! Uh, but... We still don't know where Peach is. Well, let's head back to Rogueport, I guess. Professor Frankly might be able to help us find Princess Peach, right? Yeah. Alright, down we go to the last sub-level. Because we actually never went there. Maybe he was just lying. It's Peach's theme, at least. How come Mario can open these doors and Peach couldn't? Can Mario take a shower? No, he can't. It'll be interesting if Mario got a different hairdo. Where are we? Oh. 
You are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am TEC. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess P Peach. I, I am so s sorry. Most of my data was er erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory, trying to stay operational. I understand these terms now. M Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach. Please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus in the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. But, backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. There was no lock there. <laughs> Princess Peach is in the Palace of Shadow? Please hurry. There is barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. It was activated! I took it back! <laughs> I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what'll happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I am just a computer. Just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please. And tell her. Thank you for me. We understand, TEC. So, hurry to the teleporter room now. Mario, save her. TEC system failure reported. Oh, Mario, we have to save Peach for TEC too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we get this very dramatic dark red light all throughout the fortress. <laughs> Sub level two, please. <laughs> this is all in all just a pretty well crafted dungeon, I'd say. That's the wrong room. All these rooms look the same from the outside. Here we go. Yeah, what are you talking about, TC? I already took this back to her. <laughs> Did Crump shut off the power or something? Peach. Goodbye. Zesty's making something amazing on that moon. <laughs> Where else does that visual effect come from? I really hope uh, we invent teleportation soon in the real world. Did you hear something just then? Well, anyhow. Well, if it isn't Mario. Over here, son. What are you doing down here? You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talking to my good ear, the Exnoff Fortress was on the moon. Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume? Well, yes, but the ex not boss took her and took off for the Thousand Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and I went to the Thousand Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go for the door with Princess Peach! What? Are you serious? 
Didn't the legend say that all seven crystal stars were needed to open the door? Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand-Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. But the side quests! <laughs> there are so many side quests. Well, anyhow, with our last star pieces in the game... No, uh, I'll forget to check the email if I don't do it now. Well, who is it? Ghost T, hello. Ooh, long time no spook. It is I, the spirit from the Excess Express. I bet you're wondering how an ethereal being like myself can type an email. Well, I actually possess the train conductor to do it. Ooh, don't worry though, he's doing just fine. I think maybe I'll do my new diary like this. Email's convenient, you know. And leaving a record of my afterlife is cool in a spiritual sense, I mean. So good luck with your quest, it's not yet time for you to come over to my side. But whenever you do, I'll welcome you. Ooh, farewell, Ghost T from Room 4. Ugh, that's creepy. I don't remember ever getting this email. Ever. Do you only get that if you actually read his diary? That is also a creepy as all get out photo. RDM final issue. Rogue Port Today is a sh in a shocking series of events today. Local authorities report that Zest, age 55, delivered a left hook to the jaw of Gadabout Flavio, age 25, late this very afternoon. Our investigation has revealed that the cause of the feisty fisticuffs may have been Zest's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock because Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon two-day tale of high seas adventure. While Flavio is recovering from temporary memory loss, Zest has already been a approached by a glitz pit talent scout, Don Goombati. I think the kid's got spunk. We'll take the world by storm, said Goombati. Shop, reporter, go. This week we have an explosive exclusive on the shop in Far Outpost North Winds Mart. It's so cold here that all of the merchandise is frozen to the counter. Just kidding. The smiling shop manager showed us a fascinating variety of goods as the sweet-faced little miss explained, It's cold out, but I'd do best to explode inside shop to warm place up, da. So come Come on in! This place is big too, folks, so we haven't even seen all of it yet. Come on down and see it for yourself. Cooking for Rookies! This is the final installment of Cooking for Rookies. Just make sure we leave you, you with a smile on your face. Our last recipe will be for couples cake. Just simmer spicy soup for a few minutes, then drop in a snow bunny and presto! Before your very eyes, the mixture will congeal and take the form of a cake. Eat it with someone you love. Editor's note, this is it, dear readers. The final issue. We here at the RDM office have enjoyed every minute of our hard work to bring you the best news and features. May we meet again. Perhaps sooner than you think. Wink, wink. Published by the Rogueport Restoration Committee. All right, that's cool. Hey, uh, Dazzle. I've got the last seven star pieces needed, so we'll start with Pretty Lucky. And now we'll get the last Happy Heart P badge. Yes! Thanks to you, guy, my star piece collection is even bigger now. Yes! Maybe we can trade again sometime, yeah? That's all the star pieces in the game, dude. So at this point, how many badges actually do I have? Missing that one. Yep, I'm missing that one. Missing that one. Missing that one, yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So most of these last badges are just found in the Pit of 100 Trials, in the floors that I haven't encountered yet. Alright. Ooh, we got three more. Gold Bob, Gob, and Todia. Okay, let's start with Gold Bob's takes forever. We'll do Gob. I've lost my voice because of this stupid snuffy cold. Yabomsky. I want someone to bring me some honey, honey candy. Kapow. Great for the throat, I hear. I think you can make it by combining cake mix and honey syrup. Yeah, chow. I'll be waiting next to the snowman in Far Outpost. Yeah, blammo. Okay. Yeah, Gold Bob's is basically another backtrack to every single world you've been in before. <laughs> this is a great mission. Not... I'm kind of opposed to backtracking. Like, it's okay to backtrack if you can find, like, cool new ways to make the route slightly different. Or if it's just like, oh, you can instantly teleport back there. Alright, dude, what you got? You've got trash. I'm not buying any of that. Oh, we also still need to find... Oh, actually, I think Luigi's up here. Sure enough, here he is. Let's see, adventures. Oh, of course, me. I'm done questing for now. 
Yep, I scaled Hate Song Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclair. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just bonkers, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. <laughs> Hate Song Tower. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, and this part is just crazy, but here goes. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northernmost sea. The winds whistle down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilling howls, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because, as I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped into his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My wings split the air and crashed dead center in the chestnut king's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for my moment. The tension stunned me. Shwack! The ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that sound as my call to battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then... And then... I beat him. I defeated the Chestnut King. An even worse beast came next, a Nightmare Fiend. But I beat it, too. I rescued Princess Eclair. It was all over. And then I came back to Rogueport and I had light lunch. And that's about it. Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all. That's it. That's the whole story of the quest for Princess Eclair. The end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. They'll never end. You wanna... <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Hey, you. Remember me? It's me, Bluey. Man, that last battle was hairy. You have no idea. I was burned to a crisp, but I actually was kind of relieved, if you can believe that. But if you want the whole story, you should just ask Luigi here. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I, I gotta buy the book then to figure that out. That's Luigi's pooper friend, Bluey. It's totally weird to find poopers on dry land. He seems jolly to be fried to a golden crisp, though. Did something good happen? I'm sure if we buy the book, we find that out. Nice advertisement strategy, Luigi. Aha! Here, this is what I wanted. Attack of XP. This is the best Attack of X badge. <laughs> now it's Bowser going... <laughs> Alright. Oh, sure enough. Super Luigi 4. The fan favorite. Oh, I gotta read that right away. Super Luigi 4. Super Luigi, Volume 4, The Shards of Truth. Foot sore and weary, Luigi finally found the rapturous ruins beyond Grimble Forest. Within them, time and space were lost in nothingness. Within the pale emptiness, Luigi found a young sleeping boy. Our hero called out gently, and the youth woke from his long, long slumber. My name is Cranberry, and I've waited for you for the last thousand years. The boy went on to tell Luigi the secret truths of an ancient land. He said that the marvelous compass had been created by the ancient Luff people, who used its powers of foretelling to rule the world. But the Luff Empire was then cursed by the compass and fell into ruin. The survivors dismantled the compass and hid its pieces. Cranberry was the last of the ancient race. His role was to wait until one with a noble heart came to take the burden of the future. None but Luigi could have shouldered this weight. The boy gave him the compass piece and said, Fear the curse. But you find your eclair. Luigi accepted the part. The boy's words burned into his brain. His duty fulfilled, the boy began to fade into the blank nothingness. As he faded from sight, a look of joy lit Cranberry's face. As Luigi gaped, both boy and ruins vanished, leaving our hero in a dark wood. With six of the parts united, the compass now pointed to the final part, the quest's end to hate Psalm Tower. And then her voice spoke. Princess Eclair's voice begged for help from the void, pleading for a hero. Luigi's heart burst aflame. To be continued! 
What a ripoff! I didn't want to hear any of that! I had already heard it! I want to hear the final battle! Luigi, you con artist. How dare you. Anyhow. I gotta withdraw my honey candy. We gotta help out Gob get in his voice back. Hey, we gotta level up way out here. That's pretty cool. Let's do BP again. <laughs> Anyhow, now that I've got three more BP, I can equip some more stuff. For example, I do want to put uh, first attack back on. And what else? Uh, charge P is good. And hammer for a why not? I like how hammer for is only one VP in this. All right, so Gob is by the snowman. Oh, hey, it's General White. That's nice. Oh, here he is. <laughs> yes, I accepted your trouble. That's terrible. Don't worry about it. I got you covered, man. Here's your honey candy. Ah, uh, finally I can speak, ya yeah, pow. I had been exploding so much that I completely lost voice, ya yeah, bluey. Thanks, ya yeah, crackety. Here's a token of my appreciation, ya yeah, boom. 20 coins, thanks, gob. Even though I probably spent 10 coins, or 5 or 10 coins, buying the honey syrup for that. It's okay. I do not think these enemies should grow back just because you went to town. This seems completely ridiculous. Alright. One recipe I want to make. Cake mix. Ultra shroom. And after this, we will end the episode. I was hoping the guy in Rogueport would be selling a jam and jelly, but he wasn't. He always just is selling, like, earthquakes and stopwatches and stuff like that, and it's terrible. We get a Shroom Crepe, a treat made by Zest T, replenishes 30 HP and 20 FP. It's pretty good. Maybe not as good as an Ultra Shroom, but it's pretty good. And considering I don't even have 40 HP yet, I mean, it's fine. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be finishing up the last few trouble requests and then entering the very final dungeon. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, and God bless.